Welcome back to Living Local. Looking to catch a movie this weekend? Well, lucky for you, we have Mike Schultz, arts editor for The Reader, here to tell us all about what's new in the Cineplex. Indeed. Hey, man, how are you? I'm doing pretty well. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. Good, so, all right. hey, let's start with uh, your review, Love Lies Bleeding. Love Lies Bleeding. There were movies I liked more than this. Okay. But we didn't talk about this last <laughs> week, and it's a really interesting, weird movie. I yes. It would be kind of fun to talk about. So this is kind of a modern-day noir film mm -hmm. uh, set in New Mexico. It has Kristen Stewart playing a gym manager, and Katie O'Brien plays an out-of-state uh, bodybuilder who comes okay. to town to train at the gym en route to a competition in Vegas. Uh, pretty soon there is all sorts of uh, romantic intrigue and murder going on, which gets sure. more complicated when it turns out that Kristen Stewart's dad is basically the gangland boss of the town, played by Ed Harris. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, exactly. And so it is. it starts out as a really kind of seedy, uh, th that's, by the way, Ed Harris. He looks great. With the world's worst <laughs> wig. Hysterical. <laughs> it starts out really kind of seedy and dark and nasty and uh -huh. really a lot of fun. And then about 40 minutes before the end of the movie, it decides, I think we should be a comedy instead. And so oh. it becomes kind of a slapstick almost in terms of like, we have to get rid of dead bodies and we have okay. the law on our, you know, after Interesting. us. Interesting. And it's, you'd think so. It's really not though. It's, yeah. it's because the tones don't match at all. And uh, so by the end, I wasn't quite sure what the movie was, and I wasn't quite sure the movie knew what it was either. It has like some really strange uh, kind of twists at the end that basically leave realism completely behind, so it becomes uh -huh. uh, kind of metaphorical almost. I'm not sure what to make of it. So it won't be here long is what you're saying? It's going to be gone very soon. <laughs> but the movies I liked better are gone even sooner. So sure, yeah, what can you do? We were running right? out of things to talk about. But uh, yeah, it's interesting. If it pops well, up on stream and you might want to give it a look. All right. Well, maybe I yeah. won't, but maybe I will. Maybe you never not. know. Yeah. yeah, right. Well, let's look at what's new out in theaters. Oh, this is a big one. Ghostbusters okay. Frozen Empire. Indeed, yes. It's a big one. I do like the movies where we don't have to talk about plot at all. Yeah. Because who cares? <laughs> the Ghostbusters are back. And right. they're in New York City this time. This is, of course, the sequel to the 2021 uh, yes. reboot Afterlife, where everybody was in Oklahoma. And we are, though, back on the streets of New York City this time. There is a magical goo of some sort of course. that we have to open up. And uh, when we do open it up, it releases another set of demons that want to freeze the entire planet. Uh, and that's all the plot you're going to get from me, because, again, who cares? It's got <laughs> Bill Murray. It has Dan Aykroyd. It has Ernie Hudson. In, yeah. They're all back. They're all back. We have right. the new cast. We have uh, Carrie Coon and Paul Rudd and McKenna Grace and Finn Wolfhard. And then we also have new characters on top of that, played by Patton Oswalt and Kumail Nanjiani. And uh, we also get a return, I think, of William Atherton from the original movie. Oh, really? Who played okay. the jerk in yeah. that one, which yeah, is fun. Yeah. We've got State Puff Marshmallow Man. Uh, it's going to be jam-packed with... Uh, it'll be good time. I had a good time at the last good. one, too, Excellent. and I'm sure this okay. will be fun as yeah. well. We'll I'm see. I'm curious to see how everybody moved to New York from Oklahoma, because <laughs> sure. apparently even the kids' friends are now New Yorkers, which is weird. So oh, that means okay. like three separate families all had to move to New York. I don't know. Well, we'll see. that's movie magic, isn't it? This is, that is. magic <laughs> so, of Hollywood. Yes. Yeah. Well, let's talk about this. Uh, Shirley. Shirley. Yes, yeah. indeed. There are also, I should mention, a pair of horror movies opening this weekend at the okay. Cineplex. The previews did not look family-friendly, so we're not going to talk Oh, about good. those. Instead, we're going to talk about this <laughs> Netflix film, Shirley, which I can't wait for because it stars Regina oh, yes. King, who, who is her? amazing. She plays Shirley Chisholm, uh, a fan phenomenal uh, presence in politics who in 1968 became the first black woman ever elected to Congress and then in 1972 became the Democratic Party's first candidate for the presidency of the United States. So it's a little biographical uh, history film, much in the way of Rustin that came out this yes, past fall yes. with the great Coleman Domingo. This one also has a pretty super cast. That was Terrence Howard you probably saw in the background there. We have uh, Lucas Hedges. We have Lance Reddick wow. from the John Wick series who passed away of course yeah. last year great character actor and at the end of the day we got Regina King for two full hours I'm sign in. me up that's all I need it's really that's all you all needed need. to say it's a great uh, it's a great story though um, I'm not sure if you saw a miniseries called Mrs. America that came out a few I years back no. with Kate Blanchett and uh, Uzo Aduba uh, from Orange is the New Black mm -hmm. won an Emmy for playing Shirley Chisholm oh wow so, okay. um, yeah so it's already kind of awards baby and uh but again, a great slice of American history. I love history. it. I love it. Yeah. Well, hey, let's go over what you talked about here, Mike, let's real do. quick. Sure. So, <laughs> Love Lies Bleeding. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. And new in theaters is Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire, and Shirley. Well, hey, thanks, Mike, a pleasure. for everything, Always. man. You can read Mike's movie reviews online at rcreader.com. We'll have all those details posted at ourquadcities.com.